cool. Alright. One, two, three, four. said the command. Yeah. yeah. So excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us, guys. We're like, oh, hi there. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> That's what we should have said. Uh, oh, yeah, hello just, there. Just didn't didn't in see you there. Yeah. Yeah. Glass of Cavassia. Okay. All right. You good? Yep. shared a bottle of wine, a 
Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> There's a break in the clouds Find myself constantly running around And my head spins as I lie on the ground And play pretend with the sun on my face Reminds me Zone at the beginning of that. I almost Me too. forgot to start playing. <laughs> I'm always in the auto zone. Yep. All right. Time for an instrumental. Cool. Switch your own. Yeah. Love it. Good? Yeah. Okay.
trying to like edge away this from is you like as the we're perfect, doing. Like, this really is. Oh, it really does. Well, the fake foliage. It's amazing. <laughs> awesome. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Birds chirping. Oh yeah, love, love that. Yeah. I'm seeing red in a blanket of white Will you come over tonight? My room has four walls and there's plenty of space So we could dance away song for you right there. <laughs> song about dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
All right. Sweet. So, another episode of Homer Towns with Kate and Chris of Love Said the Commander. Um, how did you guys, just for starters, how did we come upon the name Love Said the Commander? I've got to ask. Yeah, so it's actually a line from The Handmaid's <laughs> Tale, Margaret Atwood. I was reading it one night in bed. Looked really cool on the page. The commander's asking off her, like, what do you miss before all the crazy stuff happened? And she said, Love. And he said, Love, said the commander. And it looked really cool on the page. So I instantly Googled it. Nothing popped up. And then, like, very quickly, like, yeah, that's... That's the one. That's the one. It too. beat out Freezer Jeans. Freezer Jeans Freezer was jeans. a close okay. second. Yeah. yeah, that's my next question. Yeah. What, what, yeah. what were the runner-ups? We, 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 we had a huge list. They're all bad, but... Yeah, they're all... <laughs> it's hard except, to get a good band. Except Freezer yeah. Jeans. That except one was good. Freezer Jeans is not bad. That one's not good. Bad. What's not the, bad. Is that just a, a random, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. It's a true story. So, my best friend's Derek. I was on a trip with him once, and... Oh, he God, Derek. came out of the bath. He t- like, took a shower, and I'm just standing in the kitchen or whatever. He walks to the freezer and pulls out a pair of jeans. Mind you, we're on like a trip or something, so it's somebody else's freezer. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, well, you put them in there. You don't have to wash them. You just put them in a the freezer." And apparently, it's a real thing. It, yeah, that's Wait, a real thing. You don't have to wash them. You, you, I feel like we looked it up after yeah, that. It's a real it's thing. Like, uh, it's better for the jeans. It doesn't wear them out huh. or something. So you're telling me, like, so the jeans are, just, sorry, they're dirty, and then you put them in the dryer? See, I had a lot of questions like that, too. Like, if they're covered in mud, how is the freezer? Pop in the freezer. <laughs> it's, all the, it's all the baking soda. That's So anyway, that's somewhere. where it came from. And that's a great name. Oh, man, we need to get something. Derek yeah. and, and, and hear more about this, yes. this story. Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so has anybody ever, like, say your guy's band name and, and like, Love said the commander. Oh, yeah. Like anybody, like have that inflection. Like they know it's pretty going much on. everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that's, it. Yeah, that's funny. We don't say it like that, but it's totally fine. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, whatever works. Yeah, that, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Uh, it was a phenomenal set. You guys, really unique sound. Thank it was you. incredible. Thank you. Um, one thing I realized when, uh, as I had been listening to your guys' music, um, was that there's no drummer, and like it didn't, like I didn't immediately notice. But after a while, it, it sort of dawned on me, and I, I was thinking to myself, like, it's crazy how full it sounds without the drummer. Like, yeah. I didn't miss the drummer at all. It Yay, was uh, thank you. very, <laughs> very so full. Yeah. yeah. That's the first thing people are usually like, you need to add drums. And we're like, no. Well, that's what we did. Yeah, the first few gigs we played, that's what people say. Oh, you guys sound great, but you really need a full band. Yeah. You know, and we, were, we didn't have a drummer just because it was easier with the two of us. And then we, right. like, explored it a little bit. It just didn't really work out. And then since then, we've really embraced sure. just making as much piece. sound as you can with the two of you. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it sounds like us. I think you start adding stuff and it could sound like other things yeah. maybe. But we've just really embraced it at this point. So how much of that, like I, I know um, as I was reading about you guys too, like all your, I don't know if all your or most of your stuff is, is DIY, like as ter- in terms of the production, the mixing and what have you. Do you guys do that all yourselves? Yeah. The first Now two, we do. Yeah. The first two EPs we did in a studio and the second two we did all, all ourselves. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, like, how much, um, I guess to speak a bit to your songwriting process, how much of, uh, I mean, there's so many different ways to go about writing a song, but, Mm -hmm. like, for you guys, I would think you'd have, like, this textural, like, these textural things in mind as you're crafting the song, or is it more like the other way where you have, you know, the song bare bones, and then you sort of, like, add the textures to bring it to life in, like, a more enhanced sense? I feel like it just, like happens naturally it's the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced like in my life with writing music it's I don't know I there's just something a right like there's not we don't really have much of a process aside from just playing it, it's yeah the music together one of us will come up with something send it to the other person and then like the next day that person will send it back to the other person oh, that's cool basically the finished song that's, yeah. that's we try, awesome. we try, I mean, we've gotten to the point where we try not to think too hard about it. Like, we can kind of tell, yeah. yeah, it needs a little more, or that's just what it needs. Right. So I think, I think gotten, yeah, that's yeah. definitely the hardest part about being a duo, I think. It's, like, finding that time to really, like, either stop adding stuff or, like, just keep it as simple as possible, even though it seems like it could be too simple almost. Mm. But I think that's, like, the most challenging part of having, like, just the two brains. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we don't... Yeah. We don't have three other brains to like, sure. you know, write and collab yeah. with. So and yeah, and you can keep adding stuff forever. Yeah, and ever, I mean, so, it's yeah. is it ever done? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's sometimes interesting to like have certain limitations around like a process in that in that sense. Yeah, like sometimes it's great to have you know a bunch of people involved, but sometimes when you boil it down, it's like all right, just us, and it's just a bit simpler in that way. I guess, like you said. Um, 
but very cool how uh, you know it's it's also there's something to be said about you know like the the ways you can go about producing music is just so infinite that like to just oh, really yeah. boil it down and, and it's like most simplest form, which I guess in a sense is what I was trying to do with this show in, in a sense is like, yeah. you know, not like a ton of production, like the mixing is minimal, yep. just sort of capture it in like real. these moments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, real. What I've really come to realize is that it, the equipment you're using and all of that stuff doesn't really matter as long as you get a good performance. Yeah. You can get away with it not being perfect yeah. what plugins you use and yeah. this or that as long as the performance is strong. I yeah, I mean, which I was, I've was i always been more into anyway. Yeah. Um, and I, I always found it funny, like on a sort of related note, like when you go see a band, or like I guess it's more the case with like cover bands, but if you see a cover band that's covering a song that like we all know and love, they'll play like the solo like just to yeah. a T. I'm like, all right, that's cool. But, like, I get that on the record. Exactly. You know, like, let's yeah. switch it up. Give me something new. Like, that, that, I love, like, different versions, like, live version versus this, that. Every time you show up to a performance, it's different. Yeah. It's, like, so more, it's much more exciting. That's what's fun about it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, I mean, hearing you guys say that you pass around stuff, like, digitally is just so perfect for, like, today's day and age, like out of all the craziness that goes on, that's just like a beautiful part of where we're at as a society is like, you can be able to do that. Yes. You know, like pass files around. How did you guys get started? Like how did you initially meet? Which is when I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we ac- we actually met on Craigslist. Oh God. I yeah. love it. Out of so, all the Craigslist stories in the world, this has got to be I, the most cosmically. I was, positive. I was definitely at my like last de- most desperate attempt at finding just like a musical partner. I've been playing in bands forever. And it was literally just, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to Craigslist and see what happens. My last attempt. And then I was actually just going to like quit music if I didn't find anybody. And it was your first. <laughs> long, okay, long like he's le- literally never, never yeah. used <laughs> Craigslist like ever. What's <laughs> Craigslist? I guess I can use that to try to yeah. find somebody. But yeah, so I was a teacher. Oh, for, too funny. I and for I was ten, looking yeah. for girls. I was trying to huh. put an all girl band together. So that that's even more hilarious <laughs> because... I remember you reaching out, being like, "I know you're looking for <laughs> girls, but uh, I'm a dude. But, I mean, I'm not a girl." But I, <laughs> I listened to that. She had a couple of sound cards. I'm like, "This is incredible." <laughs> hey, can I like play with you? It's, I know I'm not a lady, but you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it was a, the beautiful of Craigslist. I feel like yeah, most things probably don't go that well in Craigslist. Yeah, from what yeah. I hear. Yeah, but, yeah. New yeah, merch shirts too. We're gonna we're gonna put believe in Craigslist. Oh, I like that a lot. Right, I like that a lot. So you one for one on Craigslist? Yeah, yeah. And the worst. I'm done. The I'm worst. Done, I think. Jesus. And yeah, it's something like, well, that I like. I just hold over his head forever now because I'm like, you don't know the struggle. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't. I don't. I'm fine with that. Like, telling Craigslist, like, people about Craigslist, like, yeah, it's this phenomenal thing. I, I found my bandmate. Yeah. It was great. I see Batting no a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> no issues with it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's incredible. That's incredible. So how long have you guys been making music together? Uh, just over four years. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I think the one really cool part about being a duo, <clears throat> like, the not having drums and, like, leaning into it is so cool because you can play in so many different spots. Oh, yeah. You're like, what do you really need? Yeah. Like a guitar, the violin, yeah. it's it's so beautiful, it's fine, it's like more than fine, it's great. And like you don't you don't have to worry about like lugging in drum sets to like different venues. Yeah. It's bit I mean, even just rehearsing is so yeah. much easier. Yeah. Just because oh I mean God. trying to figure out everyone's schedule and it's fifty fifty when you get paid. Yeah. So now you're not like splitting <laughs> it out five ways. It's oh, just like great. boom. But um yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Started out with logistics, but then we've just it, really It does make it. it, I do miss, like, I sometimes miss being in full bands, though, because before gigs, you know, you could have, like, six beers. With this one, <laughs> you can't. It's just you guys. No hiding There's anywhere. no. You can't, right? No, no, yeah. no. And, sure. uh, and a lot of our things, like, I feel like I need to be, like, on my game. So, like. Yeah, you're drinking, I, like, a cup of coffee and stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Way. Yeah. There's no sloppy, no, no sloppy. Uh, no, well, there sloppiness. was none today. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I do miss that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call me Katie. The, the next <laughs> yes. project. That'll next be project. Our, that'll be our sloppy rock. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, keep the sunglasses on. You're just swaying around. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> rehearsals, is that also, so you guys, where are you, where are you coming from? I guess we'll start there. So yeah, I'm coming from Philly. Yeah, I'm in Jersey. Cool. Yeah. Hence the Philly Jersey. Philly Jersey. Philly love it, love yeah. it, love it. So do you guys, when you rehearse, is it also virtual or how does that work? No, we're together at least two times a week. Oh, yeah. cool. Usually. Yeah. Also, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so as far as like, 
I know you guys put out an EP recently. What was it? It was live at, what was the name of the courthouse? Live at the Wayne County Courthouse. Wayne County, yeah. Wayne, yeah. That was uh, really cool as I was going through your guys' stuff. That was one of the more cooler things that I'd seen recently. Just like you guys, one mic um, in a courthouse, really, really cool vibe. Um, I think it really spoke well. It's like your guys sort of, yeah, like the, the flavor of you guys. And uh, so... How do you choose like these settings to to play in? Like I know another one I saw in like a graveyard or something for yes. what was it Bones, which yeah, was for, fitting yeah, for our tiny desk entry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which I saw yeah. the I saw the little tiny desk by yeah. the way, which was a nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, they got it. There is a desk fancy. here. It's fancy. It yeah. counts. Yeah. 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 But uh, so how do you guys choose these spots? Yeah, we were just trying to because th- there's so much stuff out there, right? You're competing with a lot of things, not just music, but all the yeah. stuff and everything grabbing right? people's eyes. So yeah. we were thinking, well, maybe we could record it, do something a little different. So we thought, you know, and like a church or something cool, but yeah. that's been done before. Sure. And then I uh, thought about my dad. He worked at the courthouse for 37 years oh, cool. or something. He's retired now, but he has some connections still. So he, like, I talked to him. He got super excited about it, immediately called some friends that he knew. And within a couple <laughs> yeah. days, we had the date picked yeah. out and everything, and it was You happening. have a hearing. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah, well, if more whatever. people can be like Boomer, <laughs> yeah. every, the world would be like the yeah. better yeah, place. Boomer, you're the man. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So that's how it happened. It worked out beautifully. Um, and yeah, it was such a cool day. We knocked it out in just a few hours. Oh, nice. Um, two of them, I think, were one take. A couple of them were two or three takes. Cool. Um, Did you wind up, as I was watching, I was, I was curious. I know it was like a um, sort of like a a combination of pictures as far as like what the music video was, but were you guys doing a lot of moving around like the different takes? Were you experimenting with the mic in different spots? Just with the last song, really. The yeah. first Sylvia, that, that one, cause mm. I play a lot louder on that one. I had to keep backing up for that. But otherwise, yeah, once we yeah, found, I forgot about it that. got really far back. He ended one. up being like, <laughs> I mean, Comically far we away. started, yeah. like, we, we played the majority of the EP next to each other. And I forgot <laughs> about that. Sylvia, he was, like, down the whole, like, yeah, I was down the, back the middle. Of the yeah, you yeah. were. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's, that's really <laughs> cool. So um, when you guys first started, did you, were you already playing violin, Kate? Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, your, yeah. like, stuff on SoundCloud that you had heard initially was, like, vocal and and... Violin. That was just vocal was and acoustic, yeah. I think. That was oh, a pleasant cool. surprise for me. Nice. Oh, the violin. That yeah. was an added yeah. bonus. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's that's really cool. So what are you guys, uh, some of your, like, influences as far as, uh, it's like a sort of a cop-out question, but I just like to hear, like, what people are either listening to at the moment or, like, anything inspired a certain EP or what have you. I'm obsessed with 1970s Peter Gabriel Genesis. Oof. Like, nice. all day. <laughs> I... That's my, like, selling by the pound. It's, like, my go-to record. Anytime I need any sort of inspiration, I put that on. <laughs> Very cool. That's, that reminds Definitely me of what I Definitely born in the wrong era. Yeah. <laughs> or the right one, because you're, yeah, you know, true. You're reviving. True, true, true. You know, that's that, a good that, point. That, that flavor. That's a good point. Um, as far as, like, simplicity goes, too. Like, I, I'm, I love, like, boiling things down to, like, the simplest yet most effective. And um, just goes to show, like, you don't need all this fancy stuff or what have you. Just, like, a good idea, which is when I saw your guys' music videos for, um, you. I know you had done some covers. Mm-hmm. The Peter Gabriel one, Sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. Which, on the one hand, like, uh, was awesome that you guys had switched it up so much from the original. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, let's hear, like, what they did with it. Yeah. And then it was so completely different. Yeah. I wouldn't even have known if yes. not for the lyrics that it was I the same that. song. <laughs> and the music video was just, you guys, was that the one you guys just, like, in front of the TV? Yeah. My, my, still my favorite video. We've oh, yeah. man, it is. Amazing. so yeah. so cool <laughs> yeah. because like you know how when you're watching TV like the different shades of light like one really bright scene and yep. one not so bright scene yep. and just to see that light off your guys faces yeah. was like it was the, so the well lyrics done. lined up like perfectly oh, man. with yeah, it did. his video it was oh, yeah. it was yeah. it was so and like you guys oh man like the music was so airy and beautiful and over that it was so cool yeah. And then I also had, had the same thought with uh, with a Moon Age Daydream video. Oh, yeah. With just, like, a projector on you guys of David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> that was also really cool. I mean, like, that's the simplest idea. Yeah. But, like, it worked so well. And I, and I think that, yeah, we did, like, a year of cover series. Every month we're putting out a cover of a band or artist that was very influential for cool. us. And I think it forced us to get really simple because we had to play it all live. Right. We wanted to make yeah. sure each one right. was live. And I think for me, I just love that you can... It, feels like you're in the room with the people. Yeah, know? Whether for sure. it's two, three, four, ten people, yeah. you feel like you're in the room. That's my favorite kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that's what we're... And really I love that at. we really are at this point just like a self-sufficient duo. Like we yeah. pretty much do everything ourselves at this point still. Mm-hmm. And cool. uh, I want to keep it that way if we can. It's so much <laughs> keep easier. Keep doing it. Keep yeah. doing it. And can't it's wait the, you just can't keep the, the different experiences that we are, you know, are continually having. Mm. Even just by creating 
music videos for things like thinking outside the box. You have to because you only have a couple people. Yeah. Right. So many things you can work with. So it's yeah. a very fun constraint to work with. That, that's yeah. awesome. I can't wait to see where you guys continue to go with it. So it's a cover series on YouTube? Yeah, just yeah. once a month we've been putting cool. it out. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. On the, their birthday. So it's always a random Oh, day. nice. Yeah. That's that's awesome. On the respective cover yes. person? Yes. Yeah. So this nice, month nice. was that's cool. Ringo Starr. Yeah, Ringo. Oh, it was the Octopus Garden. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. right. Yep. <laughs> also super different. I, I really enjoy that aspect of it. Because, like, to your point, right? Like, yeah. if you want to hear the song, yeah. listen to the song. Yeah. Well, let's do something different. Yeah. Very cool. And I, we're, I love that. we're, you know, majority writing originals. So, like, it's still almost yeah. like a challenge to make it yeah. oh, like an, if you didn't know almost it was like an original of a cover. Beatles, like, yeah, you'd think yeah. maybe we yeah. wrote yeah. it. Put our own, like, cool. spin on it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, like, your area music over, like, <laughs> different videos, I remember I, I was watching one of yours. I think it was, like, over a, a Superman uh, animation. Yes. That was autopilot. What was the yeah. story behind yes. that? Yes. That's, 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 that's a great crazy. question. And it's so crazy. No, yeah. you go. You go. Uh, so both of us, I mean, obviously we didn't know each other when we were yeah. kids, but we each had the VHS of that Superman cartoon. Right. And we both watched and it a obsessed. Ton. Yeah. And it was a series? I, I, I yeah. hadn't heard of it until I saw that I mean, it yeah, was from like, the 1940s, and yeah. that was literally the first episode that was ever out, I guess, of Superman ever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And so yeah. we both independently watched it as a kid. That is very wild that you both of you like stumbled upon that. And it's we're crazy. like not only stumbled upon it, but we're really like consuming it. Yeah. Obsessed. Oh, yeah. That's and so, so funny. We've, so we, how, do you, yeah, how do you find we, that We've out? done a lot of uh, public domain stuff. Okay. So you can use it for free, obviously, with no copyrights on cool. it. And that was on the list. And we're like, oh, that would be great. And then we kind of made the connection. Oh, we both watched it a ton as a kid. Wow. So immediately. Yeah. Oh, and it just okay, I see. Perfectly. That was on a list of stuff you could use. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a bunch sure. of stuff that doesn't have copyrights. We, we were too. doing that for a while. We were taking just random, because we love, love movies. Love movies and stuff. Yeah. So, like, we were finding stuff, because we, we would love to score and, you know, write music for TV and movies mm. and stuff like that. Done one. So Absolutely. it was, it just yeah. was really fun because we took like a couple different takes or movies and wrote our own spin like on Night it. Night of that the Living Dead, YouTube write a little song we for a little We need to start doing more yeah. of those. Yeah, we did. That's yeah. really cool. And um, we're back. <laughs> Short break from our sponsor. Somebody sponsor me. Anyway. Craigslist. Sponsor yeah. by Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll, we'll happily be spokespeople yes. for Craigslist. It's nuts. That, like, you know the times Hots. when you see an average, like a, um, a product and you see like we're not paid actors it's like well okay <laughs> it's like you guys are the story of like yeah I found my bandmate I'm like bullshit no way no yeah. you didn't <laughs> really we did yeah, yeah. that's that's we incredible should, we should hit them up honestly <laughs> you should come on give, give you guys money you're making me want to go like n- like noodle around on Craigslist <laughs> see if I mean, I can check it out we can't guarantee anything that you'll <laughs> yeah. find on there or what you'll find but uh, that's, that's great <laughs> that's great um, but yeah, so what would you, uh, Night of Living Dead, I think, is where you oh, yeah, public yeah. domain stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my favorite one. That one's Definitely right. check that one out. Yeah. That oh, so that's cool. also, that's also. Yeah. yeah. But it was, it, oh, it was wrong. called The Night of Anubis. Night of Anubis was like huh. the original. It, cut. That was like a, his original title, I guess. That's what we George called Romero. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, as I was watching the Superman one, it was so interesting to see like a really violent, you know, violence animated, sure. but like uh, like an action packed sequence, and then like you guys area <laughs> beautiful stuff. I'm like, I don't know why this makes sense, but it, it does. does. It yeah. fits so well. <laughs> and then Kate, she's uh, brilliant at editing stuff, and the way she edits it's like the climax of the song is like when the skyscrapers going up. Yeah, like, oh, she had to match how did all that, that up? work out that perfectly? You know, <laughs> oh, it's incredible. incredible. OCD. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. The secret. OCD. That's yeah. that's what exactly about OCD. How. <laughs> Um, right on. So what, uh, anything moving forward, any exciting stuff you guys will be writing for TV now that we put that into the, yeah. definitely into the, the incredible, yeah. that's top of the list of things yeah. you want to do for real. Um, uh, but yeah, anything like any genre or what have you that you'd like to explore? Well, I guess our immediate plans is August, we're going to be recording our next EP. So that'll be out for the next year. We have some crazy wild We have ideas a lot of ideas for it. next year. That, so we'll start working on it this year. We won't say anything too much about yeah. it, but it could be cool. very cool. Very cool. Um, and we're just playing a lot now. So Sweet. Most weekends we have one or two shows. So it's nice Sweet. after the last couple of years, finally being yeah. able to get out, yeah. get some momentum Absolutely. going again. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. How did you guys handle uh, like quarantine pandemic era being like a duo? I mean... We lucked out, honestly, because we sort of stayed in yeah, each really other's bubble. Else, yeah. We saw each other, and that was pretty much That's it. That's cool. So we, I mean, so we, we, we were still s- haven't gotten COVID, and we were able to get nice. through that time. Solid. Solid. So, yeah, but, I mean, we were still team. able. Yeah. We were, like, really so lucky because we were still getting together a couple times a week and 
And we just wrote that entire time. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, I don't, yeah, it would have been, we were doing like a song a day at one point. Yeah. It, I mean, I think we got us through it for sure. Oh, and yeah. the I mean, yeah. 10 straight weeks we did, uh, yeah, like we a live, live show from my basement cool. bar. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, that's um, awesome. so that was cool. It kind of kept, and I mean, people were tuning in, so I feel like it was just, we were all helping each other mm. get through Stay that because that was Seriously. definitely like the lockdown, lockdown portion of yeah. it all. Oh yeah. The yeah. beginning of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Right on. Um, so where do you? So you were from Phil, Jersey. Where mm-hmm. do you guys mostly perform? I guess I mean, all over the. Yeah. I guess the tri-state area. I right? guess I mean, the majority yeah. now is just Jersey and Philly. Jersey and Philly cool. for the most yeah. part. Um, but obviously start an adventure in New York. a yep. Little bit. Cool. Yep. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah cool. Um, I wanted to ask you, do you have any stories about any particular tattoos you want to share? I always like want to ask people with tattoos oh, that man. question. Um, I don't know if like you don't like being asked that. I do have annoying. one that my, I call her my niece, but she's like my second cousin. But the other day, she's like the first person I have play. I play a lot of video games. But like as, <laughs> as a kid, Sonic was always my fave. So I have Sonic, but like when he drowns and dies. <laughs> and she... Knew it. And I was just like, thank you, because that's like my favorite tab that I have. And she knew that it was like Sonic and that it was when he like drowns in the water stages. So I was just like, yes. And I have a killer tofu from Doug. That's probably my second favorite. Nice. Yeah. Lots Solid. of silly, lots of silly love tats. That. Love that. Love that. Love that. Yeah, silly tats. Having fun. Having yeah. fun. Yeah. Right on. Well, it's been, uh, it's been great having you guys. Yeah. Um, so this has been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really worked well with the vibe. I think best out of anybody. Yes. Anyway, like just the setting. And great. I'm so excited that we got to use the bench. I know. Me Broke too. The bench. Me yes. too. Absolutely. It's always been off camera. Yeah. It's been and neglected. I love that now you're on the bench with us. It just makes it so much better. We're safe. We're all the same thing. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, I guess love that said the commander in terms like where people can find you. We'll link all the stuff. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. You'll find it. It's not like the band. Nothing else <laughs> yeah, happened. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Easy to find us. Right yeah. on. Well, thanks yeah. y'all. Thank you so much. Pleasure. This has been amazing. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Very cool. Much. Till next time. Yeah, thank you, Topher. Yeah, thanks. Sweet.